First, the robots came for our copywriting jobs, and now they're coming for our graphic design jobs. They must be stopped. Unless it'll save me a little bit of time. This is a first look at Jasper Art. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are. I just literally clicked the buy button to get access to Jasper Art. This is a brand new beta feature. It's not publicly available right now, but you can get on the wait list with my link below in the description. So let's go ahead and check this out. So basically we've got a simple prompt down here and then it's gonna generate some art for us. Let me go ahead and try this out. All right, so my first prompt is a sumo wrestler eating a taco while working at a computer. Let's see how it does. Whoa. That's pretty insane. Look at this guy. That one looks a little bit fake. Uh, I'm gonna blow this up. I mean, that's a great illustration. The The food here doesn't quite match the style of the background, but overall, that's kind of mind blowing. Uh, here's a lot more lifelike one. Uh, the dude's face is a little bit screwed up, um, but it definitely meets the requirements. There's even another little computer here in the front. Uh, here we go. Uh, that guy looks like he is really enjoying that taco. A little bit of a weird uh, technique with eating. But overall, okay, that is a home run. Way better than I expected. And generating the art only took like five seconds. All right, for the next one, I'm going to try to generate maybe like what I could use for a thumbnail. Let's say I was reviewing an Apple product on YouTube and I'm going to hold up an Apple logo over my head. Let me go ahead and generate this. So my prompt here is a man holding an Apple computer logo over his head. Not bad. Uh, at least it's got all of the, the elements here. I wouldn't say those are exactly what I'm looking for. Let me uh, modify my prompt here a little bit. All right, so I just changed it to a man triumphantly and excitedly holding an Apple logo over his head. All right, that dude's teeth are totally screwed up. That's a little terrifying. <laughs> this one as well does not look super great. Uh, maybe I should go for more of the illustrated look because it seems like these kind of like Photoshop compositions are turning uh, just like slightly dystopian. Again, his eye just like there's something unsettling about it or you know it's not quite natural yet. Uh, not bashing the software. This is actually way better than I expected this to be for an initial beta. So my options here is to copy this to the clipboard or I can download it. Uh, it does have the little Jasper logo in the corner. It doesn't really seem to, to do anything when I click on it. I can flag it if it was bad. Otherwise, I can give it a thumbs up if it was a good image and a thumbs down if it doesn't match the prompt. All right, this is an interesting feature. I can also have Jasper give me a prompt. Let's see what this does. Painting of two dragons fighting a warrior in a castle. Let's create. All right, it says load failed, so we're getting a little air here. Let's try that one more time. So this whole thing is $20 a month per user and it's an add-on to your existing Jasper account. So like I said, it's not available publicly yet, uh, but it will be shortly. All right, so our prompt was two, a painting of two dragons fighting a warrior in a castle. Let's check these out. Uh, there's the two dragons fighting. Um, they're not fighting a warrior. It looks like they're fighting themselves, but still a uh, pretty decent uh, painting of two dragons there. All right, here's the warrior. This is like spot on. This is like kind of mind blowing stuff that it could just do this. And it looks this good too, right? Like you could make like a graphic novel with these types of illustrations. Okay, so out of the four outputs that I got, I think only this one has the warrior fighting and even the warrior is a little bit hard to make out. But yeah, once again, like I'm gonna be easy to please here because this technology is kind of spooky. All right, I'm gonna do a cartoon dog running into the street and getting a bone. Seems like kind of a basic one. I think it should do a pretty good job here. Um, all right, so we got a few different styles. Uh, that is kind of, uh, you know, misshapen, but it's interesting enough. Um, there's definitely, yeah, that that is what I asked for. It's got some, maybe some uh, like artifacts over here on the side. <laughs> Again, the kind of dystopian look of some of the animals, uh, the lifelike ones do not work as well. So definitely the paintings and the uh, artwork tends to do better. This is a weird combination of the two or the background. I mean, it kind of looks stylized in a painting kind of way, but it's also more realistic uh, juxtaposed with the obvious cartoon dog. Um, having a hard time with the bone apparently because that looks like it's a paw in his mouth. All right, and for the last one, I'm going to do a computer becoming sentient and taking a paintbrush from a human. All right, let's go for it. Whoa, that's kind of creepy and weird. I'm not really even sure what that's supposed to be in his ear there. All right, I know I said that was the last one, but let's try something a little bit simpler because it didn't seem to get what I was going for here. Let's go for a robot taking a paintbrush from a human. 
All right, this one's pretty good. I love the robot. Like, that's a really cool looking robot. It'd be nice if, I don't know how this would even work, if you could like save this part and then auto-generate the rest. That would be cool. I guess that's gonna be like version 12 of this software. But the, the human looks like it's just a skeleton hand, which is even more dystopian. All right, I'm gonna change my prompt one more last time here. And I'm gonna do taking a brush away from a human because I didn't have that word away in there before. So it seems like the prompting is gonna be the key to success here. You have to be very literal. Uh, yeah, there we go. These look better already. So it looks like the Gumby version of a robot. Uh, I'm not really sure what it's doing, uh, but I kind of like it. All right, so there we've got a human hand and then the robot hand is just like multitasking uh, beyond its capability. And here we go, one more kind of looks like a humanoid stuck inside of a robot's uh, soul or something there. Um, some very interesting artwork. One more for the road. How about an illustration of a man waving goodbye? All right, very Van Gogh-esque with the lines there. Uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at what Jasper Art is capable of. I don't think we quite beat that very first prompt of the sumo wrestler eating the taco, but everything else was still pretty startlingly amazing. So very, very weird and exciting future we have coming up in terms of what AI is going to be capable of. If you wanna know all about it, make sure you get subscribed for this channel and see you in the next one.